Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, of course, Dolan Meister, and we are back looking at some more stuff today. So we are trying, as you can see, trying new things. Uh, I'm trying different intros and trying different outros. Um, also, I'm trying different facial hair because I got tired of the beard. Every time I looked in the mirror, there was a lot of gray, and it was uh, it was noticeable. So I decided it was getting a little long, and also it was uh, if I did this, it hit the microphone. She didn't really care for so i was like well you know what let's just shave it all off and uh it feels weird i've not not had facial hair in months now so <laughs> it's a little little different a little weird anywho uh today i wanted to take a look at some stuff i have been on the hunt for speakers and i know that doesn't sound like the most interesting thing but one of the things i've been looking for are some speakers that i can set up here on my workstation so i could listen to music or listen to sound from things as I'm working on them, uh, which I'm still working on stuff. I know I'm like, we're going to work on Commodores and I've worked on like none. <laughs> uh, I've done some projects. I've got some that are in the works and the last video I talked about this too. Uh, also, sorry for all the inconsistency of video uploading because, you know, that's just how things go. Anyways, all that aside, we are going to take a look at these bad boys some RCA speakers that you can't even see. Can you see them? Yeah, you can kind of see them. Uh, some RCA speakers that are wireless, uh, just wireless. I paid $15 for these bad boys at Goodwill. Let's go ahead and I guess they're brand new in box. Like I, I opened it up and checked and they've not, I don't think they've ever been used. Everything is still wrapped up and everything. So I guess uh, let's go ahead and dig down into this box and let's take a look at them because why not? All right, let's go ahead and I guess let's open these suckers up. They've been opened at least once before, but they've never been, I don't think they've ever been used. Uh, compatible with stereo, DVD, MP3, TV, computer, and gaming. I mean, I would hope that they would be compatible. They're just speakers. Uh, auto scan function, search for best frequency. Bass boost, uh, provides strong bass response. The LED will illuminate green when bass boost is active. Okay, on off volume control. Uh, auto level control, channel selection control. So these are pretty neat. Like they're not anything insanely like unique or anything. Uh, let's see here, English. They're 900 megahertz wireless speaker technology or speaker system. Um, 900 megahertz technology transmits signals through the walls, ceiling, floors with no lines of sight limitation up to 150 feet. Unfortunately, my apartment isn't big enough for me to test that. I don't think. It might be 150 feet. Now, my apartment's probably like 100 feet across from end to end. It's a long apartment, it's two bedroom, but whatever. Uh, long lasting playtime, up to 15 hours at mid-level volume. Bass boost enables deeper bass response. Includes bonus three and a half millimeter to quarter, quarter adapter. Usage opportunity to deal for outdoor usage. Provides portable sound for any room in your house and brings quality audio in difficult to wire spots. So I was just looking for some speakers in general. I wasn't looking for anything super fancy or anything weird, but I was like, oh, these are really unique because, you know, it's Goodwill. Uh, and so I was like, well, let's give them a check out. But as you can see, everything is still in the box, which is really, really cool. And actually I got them all half off. They were seven bucks instead of 14 bucks. So I was like, you know, I will take that. All right, in this box we have the transceiver and the world's tiniest antenna. That thing sucks. What else we got in here? Okay, that's cool. So we do actually have some like decent connector opportunities, which is nice. We have uh, RCA to, to the TRS, so that's cool. So we can do that. Nice. And then the larger plug, that's cool. Um, and that's got three channels on the back there. So you can see here. We've got channel one, two, and three, and then DC 12 volts in, which is part of the reason why I picked them up because they're not forced to be battery operated. <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure this box is just the DC adapters, which there is three of them. Yep, yep. So that's really cool. I'm super stoked about that. And then in these bad boys is the business. So we got speaker number one. <clears throat> So that's nice. Auto scan, bass boost. Okay, okay. Uh, and on this side is speaker number two, which is in good shape. And they do take batteries if you want. They can take four D cells. I mean, 
Who wouldn't want to do that, right? Not me. Four D-cells is excessive. All right, let's get this box out of the way. And then let's go ahead and grab all these power adapters out. <clears throat> and I guess I will just grab some music on my phone. You know, I have put this screw right where I want it to be three or four times, and yet it falls down every time. So here's the, the power bricks, which uh, <laughs> these are some big hefty speakers. And if they sound good, that'll be really, really cool. Um, oh yeah, these have all been put together with rubber bands now that I'm looking at it, and I'm pretty sure that's not from factory. So that means these probably suck, and they're probably awful. But you know what? We're gonna give it the old college try. All right, so there's speaker power cord numero uno, and it is powered on. Ooh, that had a nice little pop to it. Very nice, very nice. Uh, and then we will hook up plug number two. Oop. God, I got this big old power strip in here now. And then we will power that guy on. Ooh. And a nice little pop to it. See, this one is still wrapped, which makes me wonder. So we're going to leave that that way. We're going to pop that dude down there. We're going to plug this bad boy in. And then the power light doesn't come on. There are no, oh, there it is. Now the power light's on. Okay, I was gonna say, there's no instructions. So I don't know if it needs to warm up first or what, or what has to happen. Okay, so let me find some music real quick to play and then uh, we'll give these bad boys, ooh, 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 ooh. Let me, uh, let me grab some music and we'll be back. I don't wanna, oh, interesting, interesting. We'll be right back in just a second. All right, we have returned with my pood. Um, and you are getting static. Okay. Uh, yes. What are you doing? Oh, oh, oh. 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 So this is all from the, the YouTube library. Um, let's turn that off real quick. Um, they don't sound terrible. So here's the real question. How far away can we put this from this? And it still sound good. I'm just curious, you know, at this point. Um, 150 feet. Yeah, I can't, I can't do 150 feet easily enough. But let's see here. Um, where's my equalizer? Ah, uh, sometimes, you know, canceled. Oh, okay, I got it. I got it, I figured out. Okay, I haven't used Rockbox in so long. Uh, of course I'm running Rockbox because I hate the Apple stuff. Um, let's see here, where's what's playing right now? Let's see if we can play the next song. So this doesn't sound half bad. That's cranked all the way up on the iPod. Let's give this bass boost a bit of a, a test here again. The bass is a bit meh, I'd say at best, but uh, you know, I gotta say they actually sound really, really good. Like they're not amazing. I, I have a, a full, you know, audio system out in the 2.1 system set up in the living room, 
you know, I'm not expecting these to be blow my socks off amazing, but for what they are, they're, they're pretty impressive. And really all I wanted to do with these, with minimal wires, which is what's nice, is I want to mount them up underneath here and they'll fit. Like, that's all I want to do with these, is if I can get these to fit underneath and then just run a, a splitter or something for these guys, and then I can plug this into whatever that I jolly well please, which is what's great, because like this I can plug into... Uh... Oh, I only had like one speaker cranked up. Oh, that was only one speaker. Now here's my question, is it actually stereo? Now that's a good question. They are stereo. How about that? I don't know if you, you guys might not be able to hear that, but let me, Crank this, as you can see here, I've got it all the way to 100% on the balance, and I can crank this up. And I mean, there's music, but it's like really, really quiet. That's really cool. Okay, I'm I'm very I'm I'm very tickled about this to be honest. Let's uh, let's go ahead and stop that music for now. Um, these are really cool, and I really really dig these. I'm not upset about this. I think this was a good purchase. So these are really neat. Uh, they're maybe not so useful right now because of of what I'm using them for. But in the future, if I ever if and when I ever get a house, these would be great because I can set these outside and although they may not be waterproof, they're still something that I can easily set up somewhere uh, and have, you know, some decent wireless speakers. So these are really cool. I keep trying to see if there's a way to get inside of this easily enough. I don't recognize the date code, but uh, yeah, I think this is cool. I'm gonna try one more thing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, this receiver, I'm gonna take it into uh, my bedroom, which is really, I'm in the middle of the apartment here, so uh, that'll be kind of the best thing to do with them. And uh, I'm gonna set this guy in there and see through at least one wall and my own personage in the way here, you know, uh, see how it sounds. So hang on one second and uh, we'll be right back. Yeah, there's a bit of static now. Um, you can hear little static in the speakers but I mean that's not too bad that's maybe uh, I'd say close to 30 feet ah, I'm happy enough with that I'm happy enough with that my final thoughts on them are for seven dollars uh, they're pretty good they're not amazing they're definitely not to the same standard of quality that I'd expect out of something you know much better more expensive but I mean they're wireless speakers, and what do you expect out of them? Uh, I think they're really intended for use-wise. It's something that you can put outside. Uh, if you had a hi-fi system indoors, which I do, uh, and I wanted to get, you know, play a record or play some cassettes uh, or even play some of my CDs, you know, I can do that easily enough. I can plug these this receiver into my stereo system inside, and then I can take these outside and I can set them up and have filling sound outdoors. Now, unfortunately, because my apartment living is what it is, uh, all I have is a porch, so they probably won't get used for that. And for now, I'm going to see what I can do to make them fit in here. Uh, I don't know if I will, uh, because they're a little big, so they may not fit as well as I'd like, but they do sound pretty good. So what I might do for now is donate them temporarily to my uh, girlfriend's father and let him use them because he does outdoorsy stuff and has a backyard. So it's something to consider. But for now, I think that's about it, and I, I, I'm pretty, pretty excited. I mean, they're wireless speakers. What do you want? 